as a police officer, I can say that the, the registry uh, is going to come in handy for a lot of frontline officers. Uh, we've had many situations where we're dealing with people that uh, uh, either they aren't able to communicate with us or uh, they are able to communicate but don't know all the information that they need that, or that we would need to help them. Uh, with this registry, if we do have their name, we can access uh, on our system immediately. We can find out information about uh, what they like, what they don't like, where they're from, their name, their contact. All that information is uh, right there in our hands. The biggest uh, problem we had was getting a picture of the person out to the media. This is going to cut down on that time uh, drastically. Usually when we get a picture out to the media, we find missing kids within you know, 15, 20 minutes, as, you know, as quick as that. As far as a father, it gives me peace of mind knowing that there are uh, that this information is there at the fingertips of the uh, police officers that will be out there looking for her if she should happen to go missing. To deal with somebody who is in a crisis, if they are near meltdown, um, sometimes people with autism uh, cannot calm themselves well or they might need um, additional help and um, the sight of police officers could scare them but having this information and knowing that say they like to talk about outer space or they like to talk about trains or they like to talk about animals engaging them in a conversation to diffuse a potentially violent situation um, could be life-saving so we're really impressed and, and pleased that the police service has taken this initiative and, and they've explored a lot they've uh, done a lot of background work to make sure that it is as safe and, and as comprehensive as it can be